shoot in 60 FPS. What's so funny? What's so funny? What's up guys, Ron Purdy here from Techno Buffalo. And over the last couple of months, you guys have been leaving us a lot of comments saying we should shoot in 60 FPS or that or asking why we don't shoot in 60 FPS. So I wanted to make this video today just to talk a little bit about that, some of the technical, some of the creative, and some of the intention as to why you may or may not shoot in 60 FPS. Let's go ahead and get started. When film was first invented just over 100 years ago, 16 frames per second was dictated as to be the minimum number of frames needed to make something look like video rather than a series of still images. When optical audio came along, I'd say about 20 to 30 years later, they decided it had to go up to 24 frames per second, and it kind of just stayed there. The reason they wanted to keep the number minimum frames per second is because film was expensive back then. Obviously it's not now, but they were trying to keep production budgets down. So why is it that 60 FPS or higher frame rates in general just don't seem to work? Well, it's a couple different reasons. And the first one being is just what we're conditioned for. So as mentioned, for almost 100 years, we have been watching videos and film in 24 FPS. So our brains have gotten used to processing the images we're looking at in a certain way. And the second you change it to a higher frame rate, the style of motion changes completely and it becomes very jarring, very abrasive to the viewer. What ends up happening is a lot of the time, we end up getting pulled out of the the experience we pay less attention to the story and the characters and instead we're just wondering why does this film look this way one of the first times we saw high frame rates make their way to big motion picture screens was with the hobbit directed by peter jackson this decision was influenced sort of twofold peter jackson is part of the school of thought that higher frame rates make a more immersive experience it was also because when shooting 3d when shooting stereoscopically you need more light you lose about 65 percent of light with the stereoscopic rig as well as the 3d glasses so it's a an attempt to make the experience more smooth and more fluid in 3D for the viewer. So while The Hobbit was an attempt to bring 48 frames per second to mainstream, it was a pretty big failure in the eyes of most. Reason being, just the higher frame rates made the experience very jarring and really pulled the audience out of what they were watching. This is often referred to as the uncanny valley. We've seen this in graphic design and 3D animation. The idea is that the closer you bring something, a character or a visual to reality, the more the audience will pick up on the imperfection. I know it sounds a little counterintuitive, but as mentioned, this is a trend we've seen in graphic design and 3D animation, and now we're seeing with higher frame rates in film. So while it does sound like I'm bashing on higher frame rates, period, I do think they're good for certain things. They're supposed to make the experience more immersive, and if that's the case, then it's great for video games, things like sports. I just don't think it's that great for film or video because these are passive viewing experiences. It might be great for something like VR as well. So it's really hard to say what's sort of the right and the wrong. A lot of this boils down to taste, and for us as a YouTube channel to answer your guys' comments, we prefer 24 FPS. We like to create a relaxed, cinematic viewing experience experience for you guys, that's why we stick to 24. But for other channels, it might be cool to use higher frame rates if they're trying to create more of a broadcasty feel and that kind of thing. It's also gonna be really interesting to see how this pans out in the industry as a whole. But I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say. Let us know in the comments below whether you like higher frame rates or not, what you would like to see it in more of or less of. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more content like this. Thanks for watching.